हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ यूनिट नंबर थ्री क्रिप्टोग्राफी एंड पब्लिक की इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर माई सेल्फ निकुल जयसवाल लेक्चर इन कंप्यूटर इंजीनियरिंग श्री के जे पॉलिटेक्निक भरोज लेट्स हेल्प क्विक रिकेप ऑफ आर प्रीवियस लेक्चर सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ द क्रिप्टोग्राफी इन दैट वी हैव सीन द एट बेस्ट एंड स्काइटेल इनक्रिप्शन मेथड्स देन वी हैव सीन द टाइप्स ऑफ क्रिप्टो सिस्टम सो बेसिकली देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ क्रिप्टो सिस्टम फर्स्ट इज सब्सटीट्यूशनल साइफर एंड सेकेंड इज ट्रांसपोजेशन साइफर सो इन द सब्सटीट्यूशन साइफर वी आर रिप्लेसिंग द वन लेटर विथ अनदर लेटर एंड इन द ट्रांसपोजेशन साइफर वी आर नॉट रिप्लेसिंग द लेटर्स वी आर बट वी चेंज द पोजिशन ऑफ लेटर्स इन प्लेन टेक्स्ट After that we have seen the Caesar cipher. So Caesar cipher was the first known substituted cipher algorithm. So uh, in the Caesar cipher we take the character from the plain text and we do the addition of plus three to that character, and we convert the uh, this is and we convert the plain text into the cipher text. So in the Caesar cipher we take the key as a three. So when we use the key as a three, that algorithm will be called as a Caesar cipher. now the working of the caesar cipher and the shift cipher is the same but in the shift cipher we can take the key from 1 to 26 if you are using the alphabets so this was that was the basic difference between the caesar cipher and shift cipher now in today's lecture uh, we will see the next algorithm that is playfair cipher so we are discussing right now substitution cipher and transposition cipher now in the previous lecture in the substitution cipher we have seen caesar cipher and shift cipher now today we will discuss the playfair cipher so this is the uh, most important topic of our unit and playfair cipher is the most uh, important uh, algorithm in our this unit so let's discuss what is playfair cipher so the playfair cipher was the first practical diagram substitution cipher so it is also a substitution cipher so in this algorithm also we are replacing the one letter with another letter the scheme was invented in 1854 by charles uh, wistra but was named after the lord playfair who promoted the use of cipher so in playfair cipher unlike traditional cipher we encrypt a pair of alphabet instead of a single alphabet so we have seen in the uh, previous algorithm caesar cipher and shift cipher what we are doing is we are taking one character from the plain text we encrypt that pair character and we put it uh, put that character into a cipher text so we are doing the encryption and decryption character by character but in playfair cipher we are not going to encrypt a single character but we will take a pair of characters that means we will take two characters from a plain text and we will encrypt that two characters simultaneously so whenever we use the playfair cipher uh, we need to remember that first of all what we are going to do is we are uh, we are we will divide our plain text into a pair of characters so let's suppose we have a plain text of six characters then we will divide that six character into three parts of two characters so first of all what we will do we will take the plain text and we will divide that plain text into a uh, pair of characters so it was used by the tactical purpose by Br uh, british force in the second boer war and in world war 1 and for the same purpose by the australian during the world war world war 2 so that has been uh, this algorithm has been used in world war 1 and world war 2 so this was because playfair is reasonably fast to use and required no special equipment so playfair cipher does not require any special equipment to encrypt and decrypt the data so first of all the playfair algorithm consists of two steps the first is generating a key square so we are uh, Uh, creating one key square of 5 by 5 so we will generate a key square of 25 characters and second will be the algorithm to encrypt the plain text so in the playfair cipher first of all we will generate a key square and by using that key, key square we will encrypt and decrypt the data so let's start with our first step that is generating the key square so normally the key square is 5 by 5 matrix so we can accommodate a uh, 25 characters in a key space so normally in the alphabet we have 26 characters but we uh, take the i and j in a single block clear or we can also eliminate the i or j 
so we are replacing the i with the j or we can take the i and j both the characters in a single block the reason is we have only 25 blocks and the alphabets are 26 characters that's why normally what we are going to do is we are, uh, we are uh, take the i and j in a same box so example key computer now, now let's suppose uh, in the playfair cipher first of all we need to define a key so let's suppose in this uh, exam uh, in this uh, video lecture we will take the computer word as a key so what we are going to do is we will put the one characters in a uh, box so the key square is 5 by 5 grid of alphabets that act as a key for encrypting the plain text now this 5 by 5 uh, block will act as a key so this is the major part of our algorithm so this will act as a key for encryption and decryption now in the scissor cipher the key was 3 in the shift cipher we can take the key as 1 2 26 but here this whole block will be act as a key to encrypt and decrypt the data so each of 25 alphabet must be unique so every alphabet must be unique in every block that is important thing all the characters must be a unique in every block and one letter of the alphabet usually j is omitted from the table so we can eliminate the j normally we eliminate the j or we can put the i and j in a same box so this is how we will uh, accommodate the 25 characters in uh, 5 by 5 grid so if the plain text contain j then it is replaced by i so if we uh, uh, if we replace the j with the i or we eliminate the j then the i will be replaced uh, the j will be replaced by i so the initial alphabet in the key square are the unique alphabet so initial alphabet so this is the first block this is the second block third block four block five block six block 7 block 8 block so this is how the blocks are numbered so first we will start with our key characters and after that all the remaining characters will be put in this block followed by the remaining letters of the alphabet in order so we will see how we will put so our key is computer so we will put c in the first block then o then m then p then u then t then e and r so this is our block now we will start with a so a will we will put a here we will put b here now c is already here so we will not include the c clear so we need to take a unique block so we will eliminate the c we will put the d then e is already here so we will put the f here then g h i and j so we will uh, 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 we can eliminate the G also or we can put the I and J in same box then K then L then M is already here so we will put the N then O is already here P is already here so Q then R is also here S now T is also here so we will put the V then W then X then Y and Z so this is the first uh, uh, part of our algorithm that is generating the key square so this is how we are creating a key square now this square will be act as a key for encryption and decryption clear so the first step is clear now let's start with our second step so st second step is to encrypt the plain text algorithm to encrypt the plain text so this is our uh, key square so our plain text is hide the goal in the tree stump. So this is our plain text. We must now split the plain text up to into pair of letters. On each pair we perform the following encryption step. So first step is we need to divide this plain text into a pair of two characters. Clear? We need to convert this message into pair of characters because in the previously we have already seen that this encryption algorithm will encrypt the two characters simultaneously. Clear? And we need to perform following steps. So there are four major steps to perform the encryption. Clear? So the first step is 
If the diagraph consists of the same letter twice or there is only one letter left by itself at the end of the plain text, then insert the letter X between the same letter. That we will see how we can perform. So what it says here, if there is same letters, uh, same letters in a pair of letters. So you can see here double E. So we cannot take this double E as a pair of characters. Clear? So what we will do is we will put the X in between two E's. So we will take EX and ES. Clear? So we cannot take the same characters as a pair of characters for encryption and decryption. If this if this type of situation arises, then we will put the X between the letter. Clear? And if there is a single letter remaining after dividing this message into a pair of letters, then we will put the X at the end here. Clear? So let's start with our first step. So I am dividing my plain text into a pair of characters. So this is my first pair. Then second pair H I D E. So we have we are dividing this pair. Then P H. Then E G. So this is E G. Then O L. Then D I then NT, then HE, then TR, then double E. Now this double E is not possible. Clear? So this is our first rule. If this type of situation arise, if there is the same letters twice, then we will put the X between this letter. So this is not possible. So what we are going to do is we are replacing the X with the E. So we will put the X. So E X and E S clear so this is our first step then T U and M P so this is our first step we are dividing our plain text into a pair of characters and if there are two same letters then we will put the X between the two letters clear so this is the first step now we will encrypt the one block at a time so we will encrypt this block we will encrypt this block, we will encrypt this block, this block, this block and end. Clear? So this is how the encryption will be done. So in the Caesar cipher, we are encrypting the one character, then second character, then third character, then fourth character. But in this algorithm, we are encrypting the pair of characters. So we will take the two characters from the message and we will encrypt that block. So let's start with our second rule. So if the two letters appear on the same row in the square, then replace each letter by the letter immediately to the right of the, the square. So let's start with the example TR. So we are encrypting the TR. So TR. So this is the, we will, now we will find the TR into this block. So here is the T and here is the R. Now, if this type of situation arises, that means if the both the letters are in the same row, so these are uh, the, both the letters are in the same row, then we will select the next right immediate letter for that letter. So for the T, we will select the E, and for the R, we will select the A. So T will be replaced by the E, and R will be replaced by the A. Clear? So this will be our encryption of TR. So this is the first rule. If the both the letters are in the same row, then we will take the next rightmost letter as an encryption. Now, if the letter is B, then we will select the T. So here it is writing cyclic round to the left hand side if necessary. So if necessary arise, then it will for the B, the encryption will be T. So we are doing the cyclic round. Clear? So this is the second rule. Now let's move to the third rule. That is, if the two letters appear in the same column in the square, then replace each letter by the letter immediately below in the square. So let's start with the example. So OL, we are encrypting the OL. So let's find OL in the square box. So here is the O and here is the L. So if this type of situation arise, 
that if the both the letters are in the same column then we will select the next below letter as a encryption or as a cipher text so for the o the cipher text will be e and for the l the cipher text will be w l will be w and if we want to encrypt the l then it will be o so we are doing the cyclic round to the top of the square if necessary so the encryption for the ol will be ew clear so this is the third rule now next in the last rule is if from the rect uh, if it from the rectangle for which the two plain plain text letter are two opposite corners then replace each plain text letter with the letter there from the other corner of the rectangle so rectangle that lies on the same row so this is the most important part we are when we replace the letter with another letter in the square then the uh, replacement will be done uh, replacement replacement must be done as row wise clear so let's start with the example so let's suppose we are encrypting the th so let's find the t so here is the t and here is the h now if this type of situation arise then what we are going to do is we are forming one square so this will be the square clear clear so we need to find the corner so for the t we will find the corner as row wise as a a so it is forming the square so we have four corners t a h and d so for the t the cipher text will be a so here we are going a row wise so the cipher text will not be d for the t it must be a so it will be called as a row wise if you select the d then it will be called as a column wise so what we are going to do is we are taking the corner as a row wise so for the t the encryption and the cipher text will be a and for h the cipher text will be d so for the t it will be the a and for h it will be the d so this need to be remember now if you select the cipher text as a d for t then this is the wrong method so you should not do that we need to consider the corner as a row wise only clear so this was the fourth and last rule so for the th the cipher text will be ad let's start with another example so let's uh, encrypt the nt so find the n so n is here nt is here now we are finding the corner with uh, row wise so for the n the row wise corner will be k and for t the row wise corner will be i so the encryption of n will be k and t will be r so k t will be r so you should not the take uh, in uh, ciphertext as r for n so this is the wrong method so the encryption for the nt will be kr clear so this is the plain text h i d e and this will be the cipher text if we uh, use the uh, key computer in place where cipher clear now for the decryption all the step must be follow in reverse order clear so what the steps are following in uh, for uh, we are uh, uh, what the step we are following for the encryption all the step will be followed uh, reversely for the decryption so let's start with the example for the decryption so this is our cipher text we are again dividing our cipher text into uh, this blocks clear and let's start with the kr so what we are going to do is we will find the k and r and we will find again the row wise corner n and for the r it will be t clear we should not take the uh, t as a uh, plain text for the uh, column wise for the k clear so it will be nt now let's start with the ew so e is here w is here so it is in the same column so for the decryption we will go the uh, uh, reverse order so we will select the 
uh, upper most character of the uh, particular cipher text so for the e we will take the o for the w we will take the l so e w will be l o clear so this is how the cipher text will be converted into plain text clear so this was all about the uh, playfair cipher i hope you did understand all the topics that has been discussed in this video lecture thank you so much